hello guys welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us the newly released text plate text after and the text before functions so let's get started earlier today the excel team released 14 brand new functions and these three functions that i want to look at are part of the 14 functions now let's see which of the version of excel that these new functions are available okay so i'm going to click on the file tab now in the account you can actually see that i have m365 apps for enterprise and of course i'm in the better channel of the m365 and very importantly you must have this version 2204 build 15109.2030. So if you have this build and you are in the better channel of M365, you might be part of the 50% of users that these new functions have been flighted to. So let's come back to the spreadsheet. Now, let's see what the spreadsheet function does. Now, before we do that, we have been waiting for this function for quite a long time. So I have a video that I use filter XML to split our data set into columns but we don't need to go through that long process again because we have the new text split function which is of course available in google sheet also so let's see what this function does text split now the function split text into rows or columns using delimiters and let's see the other two function text after returns text that is after delimiting character and for the text before it returned text that is before delimiting characters now let's see our sample data set now we have this data set which is lined up in column a however we want to actually split this data set into four columns we want to have you know in column b days column c states column d product and column e you want to add the total okay now to do that is very simple just come to cell b1 equal sign then deploy the text split function now the text split function require the text that you want to split okay so i'm going to give this value in cell a1 now comma now you remember the function is it's split into rows or columns so in this going to deal with the column okay now that's why we have this column delimiter so for that because our data set actually has space delimiter so i'm going to put that space in here but you can actually just type in space like this excel doesn't recognize so you have to put that inside double quotes okay for excel to be able to interpret so double quote space then double quote and that's all we need so the rule delimiter ignore empty pad width are optional argument okay so let's close and control enter that's amazing so we have the date state product total in columns b c d e respectively so you can actually just use the angry rabbit or the auto field to drag down but i'm not going to do that i'm going to press ctrl z so watch me i'm going to say do ctrl c to the back and control down arrow key then i move to cell b507 control shift up arrow key so i've actually copied the formula then control v to paste that's beautiful so we have actually pasted all the formula okay and that's working so this is essentially how we use the text split and of course these are just you know shadow cells okay so it's spilled to the columns to the right and then to the rows at the bottom so this is how to use the text split to split using a column delimiter now let's see the row delimiter so i have this you know text here so i actually want it to be in rows so i'm going to come to let's say cell g3 equal sign text split okay now again the text is going to be the value in cell g1 comma now because i want to deal with row delimiter not column so i'm going to skip that you can actually put in zero or just put in a comma that's fine so comma now for the row delimiter i of course want to use the space so inside double quotes just type in the space close the parentheses and that's bam so we have the result accurate now let's say you know we we'll change this value okay so good and control enter so you can actually see that it automatically update so this is absolutely amazing now there's another function as you've said the text after function so let me just move my camtasia pointer now let's see the text after equal sign 
Okay. Now the text after, as you've said, returns text that is after delimiting characters. Okay. So let's open the function. Now this is the function, so it requires the text also. So I'm going to give the same text here. Okay. Comma. Now the same delimiter applies space inside of quotes. Comma. Now the interesting part of this text after and the text before is the instance number. Now let's say we have good deluxe fabrics upholstered staking chairs grounded and back in cell g1 which is our text now let's say i want to return you know upholstered all through to back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count this is one two three so this is actually instance number three so i'm going to just put in three and close the brackets that's amazing so it has skipped the first three you know values we have in the cells and it's returned up all start taking chairs round the table rounded and back that's beautiful now let's see the text before okay now the text before is also amazing so again we have the same text comma now for the delimiter of course we have the same delimiter which is space inside double quotes now for the instance number let's see i want to return you know all the good deluxe and fabric i'm going to just put in three close parentheses and that's amazing so it returned good deluxe and fabrics that's beautiful so you can actually see that we type in you know three here so you can actually type in a value which is normal and of course you can even make it to be dynamic and of course you can use a cell reference so let's see i'm going to open this formula up now instead of typing three i want to actually link that to the value in cell h5 so i'm going to delete this and just think that to h5 so when i control enter that's amazing you can actually see that it return staking chairs rounded and back now when i actually choose another value let's say i want to choose you know three it automatically update which is pretty fine so the same thing applies to the text before formula so we can actually link that to a cell reference which is going to work pretty fine close the parentheses control enter so we have three so when i change to let's say you know two can you see that it's return the good delicts which is of course the starting value we have here okay so this is essentially how we use the new text split text after and text before functions so in the next video i'm going to show you other function like to call to row h tag and so on so thank you for watching this video and if you enjoy it please like share comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so thank you and bye for now cheers